Every single Rust server has an extensive economy running behind the scenes, from supply side fluctuations to demand side inflations. But Price always finds the equilibrium around supply and demand. Generally speaking, the higher pop the server, the more supply of every single resource, meaning lots of competition driving prices down for everyone, a great thing for buyers. But not so much for sellers, it makes it near impossible to run a monopoly on any product at any scale. But what if we could flip this a bit? What if instead of trying to dominate the supply side by taking competitors out of the market by raiding them, we just dominated the production of a resource? In other words, we would sell a product for dirt cheap, meaning the competition couldn't keep up with our limitless output, and every consumer would be coming to us as the cheapest option, resulting in a whole lot of wealth. Ah, oh, fresh wife, I'm so excited for today. We have some pretty interesting plans and if we get set up, it's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be pretty hard to get set up. This is a 600 pop server from Freshwipe and we're only a three man to start off here. So it's gonna be a bit difficult, but let's meet up with the boys first of all. Make sure we get all the berries and hemp seeds we can right now, guys, because we're not gonna be able to get them when we get in the snow. Better we get them now than have to come back later. Oh, this guy's on me. Decent amount of stuff to be honest, it's nice. Up here. Oh, there you are. Turn around. Here, take this. What do we reckon? Two by one right here? Yeah. Take it, Dean. Yeah, I'm making it. Our early game goal here was fairly straightforward. We threw down a starter smack bang next to military tunnels, with the goal of running this monument early game to try and get ourselves established on the server before we found a suitable location for our operations. However, that didn't go exactly to plan right away. I'm just, I'm literally just running in there, Casper. Yeah, this might be unfortunate timing because my food might show up. Yep, they're fighting down there. Oh, he's right above, he's right above, right above, behind you, behind you, up. Yep, he went right. Here, I'm going to hide behind. I'm going to come down. You can pick me up behind sandbags. I'm... I'm dead. Good. At the entrance. Yeah. Oh, I need to get a bow. There's one with P2 holding the entrance. Are you I'm dead, dead. Yeah. Yeah. Hit him. Twice. No, I'm dead. His name's Smaller in person. Ah, that's fine. I don't know if they're living right there, those P2 guys, though. That's interesting. I wonder where they came from. It was bloody unfortunate that these guys were so quick off the mark getting into military tunnels. This meant they would have a head start in our area over us, and being a 600 pop server, every second counted. But nevertheless, we weren't going to let this slow us down one bit. We needed to get ourselves established with guns and a bunch of resources before we could even think about starting our grand operation. We had work to do. I'm gonna go hit a bunch of barrels, get us tier 2, I'll be back in a minute. Tier 2's down if you can craft us some guns, Casper. Uh, I think we just go in with this python and kill the bow guys in there with... Python. Do you wanna... Okay, I'm gonna go to mill. Do you wanna come with me, Casper? Yeah, you should come. There's a yeah. wooden chest in here. Dude, I just got MPGs, Sorry, by the way. There's a Tommy guy and a silencer guy on me. We're not on me now. I can't afford. Hey, Hatch out the silencer guy. He's, he's 1 HP. Where, where, where? I'm looking. Like at, at the, the pylon. At the pylon. Cave entrance. Oh, yeah. I see. Cave entrance. Oh, yeah. Nice. Sorry. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. I'm wounded. I finished him. I think that's the last one. What? Oh, they killed one with a Glock. And there was a no, Tommy no, that what? died. No, no, what? Tommy's still there. Yeah, yeah grab that tower. Grab that tower right there. I'm pushing Toby, he's running. Hit him. Killed another guy, killed another guy. Hit Keith. Killed another guy. One more guy running. 
He's at the he's at the power line, power line, right in front of us, power line. I'm going up the hill, he's at the fire. I doubled him dead. Okay, let's grab all these. Watch toward the nice. cave as well. There's still one guy in the cave. I'm just crawling around. I got a Tommy. I got a Tommy. Yeah, I'm not coming to get you. I'm just grabbing yeah, loot. Fine, fine. Dude, that was so big getting those guns. Oh my god, we can actually fight people in our area now and kind of dominate it. Use the recycler a bunch. This is really good for us. Just need to get an airlock on our base. Yeah, they're like all crouching, like thinking, oh my god, he can't hear us and shit. You can just fall asleep. I got full inventory components. Take this, Yusuf, take this. What? On the floor, on the floor. It's gone. I'm, I'm completely full. I'll go away there. Okay, good. Uh, they're coming yeah, over now, three of them. Yeah. They're all just sending up. We could probably kill uh, them. I'm running. I see one. Oh, whole team pushing over. I headshot over. him. I headshot him. Killed him. Another, there, there's more yes, coming yes. over. From the train tracks, yeah. left further. Oh, he's stacked full of wood. He's full, and he's got a spare gun on him. Somebody cover me. Train just pulled up right here. Get right here below me. He's kitted. Both dead. I don't know if the... Oh, another like four. Another like four, I'm dead. P2. I'm gonna spawn a roof. There's gonna be a lot, lot, lot there. Yeah, I'm here, I'm here. I just have a DB though. I'm, I'm one, I'm one, I'm one. I'm, I'm rushing, one. I'm rushing him. I D beat him twice, he's not dead. Killed another one. Another one dead? One more? You push out front, yep. He's near the walls. Another one dead? I don't know how many more. I need to get more ammo, I've got one bullet. Get where you can and get in base, because I'm I'm just holding. These guys are in full in inventories. Okay, I'm coming. Ready to build a base. Just get in, just just go in with the load that you have. Just go in whatever you have. Okay, so step one was complete here. We now had guns and a decent amount of resources, but not nearly enough to start our project. The thing is, our base design that we had in mind here was not progressive at all. If we got raided in it while it was half built, there was no chance in hell we were going to defend. And a main base being built in the snow catches a lot of eyes. So we decided to stay in this unassuming 2x1 honeycombed for a little bit longer and just focus on getting some electric furnaces up and running and enough resources to build our main from the ground up in one foul swoop. Alright, I'm going to focus on setting up some electricity here so we can get some furnaces pumping, cook our metal. Okay, that should be working. Power going into our battery? Yep. Okay, nice. Alright, that's all of our electric furnies pumping. Nice. Now we just gotta farm metal. It's yeah, I wanna put... Right, but... Dude, I wanna put it down there. That's where I wanna put it. Straight down there. I'm just basically making a cube. I'm gonna make a cube and then... It's gonna have it inner peaks. We're definitely going to get a lot of raid defenses in it, I'll put it that way. Like, With all the progress we've made here, we had still yet to claim our actual build spot for the wipe. Remember, we're only in a starter so far. This wasn't going to be our main base. But our main base location had to be very specific, and it would have been pretty bad if it got taken. Location was of the utmost importance. Our operation was only going to be as good as it was defendable. So we decided we were going to produce our hemp and teas within our main base, meaning if anyone wanted to take our supply chain, they would have to raid our whole damn operation. Now for the location. We decided to set up base in the low valley point here next to military tunnels. This gave us great access to water while still being close enough to military tunnels to recycle and close to sulfur quarry to contest any funny business going on over there. However, this spot obviously had its abundant drawbacks, with tall cliff faces on either side, posing a fairly problematic scenario during a raid defense. But that was for another time. First of all, we needed to get a TC down ASAP. Where's the sulfur quarry group? Oh, they're pretty close as well though. Let's do it. We just have to build like a sturdy tower above. Am I gonna cut this out in the video or am I gonna let you guys in a little bit of a building secret? I think I'll let you guys in on it this once. So, I've just made a little pixel gap here. If you guys copy how I place those foundies and everything, 
you'll be able to make your own pixel gaps and if you upgrade this to the shipping container skin, you can't actually loot it, but then you upgrade it back to the normal sheet metal skin and you'll be able to loot through the pixel gap. Pretty interesting stuff, pretty OP, but really great for our early game, making sure we don't lose all of our loot straight away. So I'm gonna abuse the crap out of it this way. The boys are up there fighting for their lives. So I'm gonna quickly try and steal this up and make it secure. And then we can worry about what to do next. 15 seconds, I don't know if he can get me. 10. Okay, it's secured. We're good. Now we've got a TC down here. Our tool cupboard was now down, making it so no one else could claim our build location while we were still out gathering resources to build our base. Now, it was pretty late for Casper and Yusuf here, so they both headed to bed and I was left alone for a while. And seeing as I was awake since 4am and I didn't really want to solo on a 600 pop server, I went for a quick hour or so of shut eye, hoping to get back on refreshed and start work on our new base. Well, that actually ended up being my biggest mistake. Just got back from a little nap and some guys chopping trees outside of our base. I didn't kill him. That is not good. Oh my god. This is probably the worst possible thing that could have happened. I went to bed for like an hour. Oh my god, and these guys have just built a tower outside of our front door. This is going to be rough. This is actually a really rough position. Damn it. Yep, unfortunately we had new neighbours right outside our front door as I woke up. Now, these guys were not only cutting us off from building our base down in the nearby valley, but they also completely stopped me from gathering any type of resource to build the base. This was not good for us. Like I said before, time was off the essence. We needed to get our production up and running early so we could exploit the market while no one else was selling. But this was going to be a major hindrance for that. However, I did manage to sneak out here and there in the cover of night, gathering bits and bobs. I just killed two AKs. I'm running. A guy named Bucky, I don't know where he lives. I've seen him around a fair bit. These AK kits were absolutely fantastic for us. Seeing as we were stuck in our base, we couldn't really get out and get many resources at all. But we were still at a stopping point here. We had to raid our new neighbours. One of us had to go. They built in such an impossible spot for us to progress, and they honestly felt the same. So Elle and I spent the next few hours just getting ready to raid these guys, gathering sulfur where we could, and crafting a tier 3. With this, we had just enough to raid them, but we had to wait for Casper and Yusuf to wake back up from their nap. This would be an all or nothing raid. If we failed here, we were in trouble. So we had to win. I might get on, I'm gonna get on. Yeah, he's opened the door, Casper. Uh, Yusuf? Yeah, he's opened the door, yeah. Close it. He's gone in. What do you want me to blow? Where that right travels? under here, just right under here. See? Open it, oh. open it. Yeah, I can't go up yet. Yeah, I'm gonna. Yep, go y'all. I'm just gonna sit back. And I'm almost dead. Is that outside? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Maybe, okay, yeah. I'm holding left. Yeah, two on the left. I'm healing. One's on the... Well, I hit the guy, I hit the guy. One's close, on, oh, close right. Yeah, yeah. On the wall. On I the need wall. you to shoot him. Yeah. I'm more the other running on the more right. right. Far right walls. Not the far right, the middle one. One doubled, he's no. dead. He's like yep. on the twin part of the base. I'm metting. Yeah, he's on the left side of the base. One. Just keep rocketing on, just keep up the pace. One more rocket. 
Yeah. Behind the base, one behind the base. This is my last rocket. Is that Watching in there. Yep, TC. TC's right there. Grenade in there, L. Grenade in there. Open the door again. Yeah, he's low up there. Guys, the right side of the Scrabbing. base, you can bro. Guys, loot that guy, other side of the base. Go loot that guy. Somebody with a python, go loot that guy, other side of the base. Both bodies are dead there. Hell, can you go loot him? He's in the he's in the thing he opened. I he's killed him inside. Just he's sealed yeah, it. He closed both garage doors. Yeah. But it's this right. is all their loot. Yeah, yeah, just grab it all. The TC is not locked. The TC was yeah, not yeah. locked, by the way. Could you could you put a lock Hold on it? it? I'm running. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm holding. You yeah, yeah you go, you go, you go, Casper. You yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. I cleared it. I can hold, nice. you guys. There's enough to make more rockets now. Yeah, yeah. Let's just get everything out first. And can we break that TC and move it into like a one by one sealed? You know what I mean? And we don't have anything to break TC, I think. These blokes were absolutely loaded in everything we needed. Over a box of stone, guns, comps, just everything we could want. But we made sure to hard grief them as well because we couldn't let them rebuild while we were hard at work setting up our main base. We would just be back at square one. But talking about that, it was about time I got to work building. Time was off the essence here, like always. If we got caught building this thing by any big group on the server, we could kiss our loot goodbye. All right, since those losers are gone now, I can grab mats and go start building our operation down there. I'm going to need you guys to move loot down there and help me out, cover me and shit, but I'm going to get this base done really quickly. Otherwise, we're going to be in a bit of strife, I think. I'm not, I'm starting, I'm building our, building yeah, our home over there. Cooking all, cooking all our metal, can just slam the base up. We have like a half a box of frags here now. Bring all that stone down, whatever. I'll just... Uh. I'll build this base super fast. Maybe um, pick up the tier 3, bring the tier 3 down, and put the uh, tier 2 where the tier 3 is now. So we have a tier 2 up there, and we have tier 3 down here. Um, I can make new garage doors, and we can just live out of this if we want and it'll be like fairly secure to be honest if we move everything here or well, not everything leave like some kits and shit up there and that kind of stuff so we can respawn but like, all our valuable stuff and I can seal up this bunk these bunkers to be um a bunch of rockets just, okay I'm just gonna slam stone as well so we can get it like there's a bunch of metal if you just want to upgrade the inner like core of the base already Okay, well, the box doesn't work in that one, but that's fine. As long as we got this one where we can access both barrels. Can we? Yep, did you make that? Where'd you put that barrel? Sorry, Yusuf? Yeah, so we've got. I'm gonna put everything in the pixel gaps right now and seal them up. They're sealed up, so. There you go. Like, to get everything, they've gotta go through a lot. I love building bases like this that are like strange bases that aren't like just meta pieces of shit. You also oh, probably this get is strange, raided. but like I'm telling you, if you put turrets and shit, this is gonna be so fun to defend it. Oh yeah, like a big cube, you can't go wrong. Alright, we're pretty secure right now. We got the shell of the base done, inner peaks done, pixel gap secured, so each of those are eight rockets each. And now we just need to focus on actually getting our hemp set up so we can start selling stuff faster we could sell stuff, the more profit we could make, the quicker. So yeah, that's the basic plan. Our base was finally down here. Now let's just zoom out a bit and have a look at our surroundings. We had a few pretty big bases surrounding us. Sulphur Quarry was indeed taken by another group, as expected, smack bang next to it. And there was another fairly big group next to Arctic here. Both of these groups would be contesting us for the same farming hill, meaning we were bound to run into both of them over and over again. But for now, our main focus was completely on getting our supply up and running as quickly as possible. The quicker we could get this working, the quicker we could start pumping in any resource we could imagine. And at the moment, we needed a crapload of gears to secure our base. Oh, thank god I have everything researched to do this hemp. 
God, it's going to take a lot of wiring. But once it's done, it'll be well worth it. We're going to make so much profit, I reckon. It's going to be so good. I think that's all the electrical is done now. Now I just need to get it pumping into sprinklers. Pretty sure. All right, Casper, come have a look at this. It's time to get at the sweatshop for clothing, mate. I've got it all up and running, finally. At least the first floor. Got two more floors, but first floor is the main one. We can start getting clothes. I need I need a clone that has something good on the third, and then we have a clone. We planned absolutely everything this way, with the goal of outgrowing our competitors from the ground up. We planned from our base to the method we placed our planner boxes. This method gave us 13 to 16 planner boxes per floor, three floors. Meaning in our base, we would have a total of around 45 planter boxes. And with Casper already hard at work in the sweatshop trying to get us a god clone this early in the wipe, I was putting the finishing touches on our roof and compound. We also threw down a few fish traps here to make our operation even more efficient. You can use grubs and worms you get from picking hemp to catch bait level 10 fish. Now you can either sell this fish for a damn lot of scrap or you can gut it for virtually unlimited low grade and bones to make it into fertilizer to just make your whole growing circle faster. Efficiency was going to be everything here for us if we were going to outgrow our competitors in every single way. And that's just what we planned. You got a vending machine up here now, Casper, if when you get cloth. I reckon just uh, sell cloth for gears and high qual. What do we, what do you reckon? 20 HQM per diesel? Yeah. I'm gonna sell it up here. Okay, let's sell diesel for HQM. There's no other shops on the map selling cloth yet. We are the first movers here. We have first movers advantage. It's gonna be huge on a 600 pop server. Also, Casper, if you find not many people are buying, just lower the cloth price until people start buying. Because the whole idea is we just produce so much for such a cheap price. But I doubt people won't buy. I think this early people will be buying. Okay, that's all I can do. I'm going to go to bed. We had a fairly productive day all in all. We had set ourselves up a nice operation and just as I went to bed, Casper picked up the first harvest of the hemp and it instantly sold for about a line of gears on day one. This meant my hypothesis of getting up our operation early was going to pay off, meaning it was more than a success here. But remember what I said about our base being a prime target if we got it up this early. This was a two-fold thing. It was great we got it up early, but also it put a massive target on our back. And oh did I wish I was wrong. About two hours after me going to sleep, I was woken up to a spam call saying we were being raided. And with it being 4am and only two of us on, it was not looking good. Killed one. Killed two, killed two. Oh, one more, one more, one more. In the shooting floor. Should push up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about to kill they're him. About they're, about to about to they're about to be main loot. They're about to be main loot. They're about to be They're like one level, like one jump up floor and they're going to be Killed main another loot. one. Nice, nice, nice. I think you can close doors, close doors up there. Close every garage door. I'm dead. Yeah, they're like about to blow the garage door and then they're gonna be main loot level. They're like one, like right above it now. Can, yeah, yeah. If anyone can make me a launch track in HV. Yeah, they're literally here. You see this door right here, Tesla? They're right here, they're, they're like coming down from here. Like they're okay, on this okay. up jump up from up here. I can, I might be able to see the breach because they went in through the gatehouse. No, they're blowing straight in, they're blowing straight in now. Oh, no. There's guns yeah, at the bottom. Are. I'm stealing that use of. Yeah, they got. They're in main loot probably again in a second. They're in yeah. main loot now? Yeah, they're, 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 they're have it. Pretty much about to be, yeah. I'm going up a different way. I'm going up a different side. Yeah, me too. I'm like up here. But me, Rocky, I'm gonna open a door and try to go for a play. What gun do you have? MP5. I, I took all the guns and I dropped them out of bed. Like, you know the bed, the first two beds when you go to main loot? There's all, all the guns are on the floor there. So if you spawn on those beds, you can pick up a gun. Yeah, I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay. Oh. Ah, 
Ah, uh, they're just all sitting there in my, my door. Like, what? How is like four of them just aiming at my door? I close, I close the garage door. I close one garage door. Oh yeah, I see where you drop. I think they're in main loot now. Pretty sure. Yeah, they are. If we had HVs right now, like I could have opened the door and just rocketed like four of them. They were all just oh no, I trapped, I trapped one in like a little, a little section. Blowing all the way down, like down one of the shoots, main loot shoots, all the way down that one. Yeah, I see, I see. No, oh, they're mulling down my base, man. Hold up, I'm in, a, I'm in a decent spot to get a seal off. Where are you, you guys at the moment? The about to spawn. Back to armored. Got seals off. They're stuck in there now. Sealed shooting floor. Nice. Full sealed shooting floor as well. Oh. Dead. Although I was awake for nearly 24 hours here, I had woken up after a single hour of sleep. And by the time I got on, the raid was pretty much over. I swear I was seeing double here and my eyes were bleeding. I was basically useless here. And regardless of me sealing here, they just blew out once again. I was too tired to do anything. Honestly, they just hit us at the perfect time. We had a couple of turrets set up, but unfortunately they found their way to our main loot so quickly through an unlucky glitch of being able to see through the floor when you die, meaning they found our hidden main loot room straight away. And from there, we couldn't really do much. It was all about recovering what we could from the base and sealing as soon as they left. Are you sealing, Tizza? Yeah, yeah, I got a seal off. See it off. We got tier three still, dude. Did they like not get the pixel gap then? No, they did. They did. I think they just left, and I sealed instantly. Dude. Oh, dude, they've these dude. There's so much to pick up. Pick up all this shit, dude. Nah, honestly, we still got a fair bit of shit, and not very too like. Obviously, it sucks, so I'm wrong, but we still have tier three. Like, that's insane. We just need to stop grubs from getting in here, you know, now. They took all the clones, by the way. They yeah, do, we still got the sprinkler going. Not even that bad. Yeah, Yusuf, everything's in this box here. I was picking up. Who did. You know what the funny part is? They used all the C4 and shit on those bunkers. Dude, it was so broke, man. Oh, boys, I'm tired. I'll catch you in the morning. Yep. This video is sponsored by Manscaped, and today I have something extra special to share with all of you. A game changer in the grooming world. Manscaped Beard and Balls Bundle featuring the Lawn Mower 5.0 Ultra and the Beard Hedger. Manscaped sent me the bundle pack, and well, the Lawn Mower 5.0 Ultra isn't your average trimmer. It has not one but two interchangeable skin safe blade heads. The updated trimmer blade features longer, wider, and rounded teeth that can cut through hair with ease, but the foil blade is where things get Get interesting. This foil blade is designed to leave you with a finish that's irresistibly sleek and utterly bare. And best of all, it's waterproof, so you can take care of business while in the shower. Now let's talk about the Beard Hedger, the perfect companion for sculpting and styling your facial hair with ease. Featuring a titanium coated stainless steel T-blade, this trimmer means business. With 20 different length options selected effortlessly with the zoom wheel, you can achieve any look from a neat stubble to a full on beard masterpiece. So there you have it fellas, the Manscaped Beard and Balls Bundle featuring the Lawn Mower 5.0 Ultra and the Beard Hedger. Whether you're taming your mane or perfecting your beard, this bundle has everything you'll need to level up your grooming routine. Trust me, once you experience the precision, versatility and convenience of these tools, you'll wonder why you ever groomed without them. Bundle up and get 20% off plus free international shipping when you use Tesla at the checkout. Head over to manscaped.com and get your hands on the Beard and Balls Bundle today. So I guess the overarching question here is who actually raided us? 
Well, we can actually answer that fairly easily here with a little bit of process of elimination. Now, we had been hit overnight, and when I woke up this morning, I found out the Sulphur Quarry group had been hit as well. So that only left one other big group in our area that it could have been. As well as me seeing some names that I recognized earlier in the wipe, I knew this group lived near Miltons. So realistically, the only group it could have been is the Arctic group, which was bloody disappointing because we had just got our operation up and running and we were finally tasting how fruitful it really could have been. But nevertheless, you guys know me. There was no bloody chance I was going to let this little hiccup get in the way of me completely destroying the supply side economy of this server. Okay, I'm awake. I really didn't get much sleep at all, to be honest. I just wanted to get back on and start rebuilding. The faster I get this done, the quicker the pain's over. Still not over last night. God, I'm pretty sure it was T3 who did it, but not certain. Ah... Uh... I'm gonna get my revenge on them. Okay, one good thing is here, they didn't destroy all of our hemp planter boxes, so we use that to start our rebuild, to be honest. Got all this high qual through someone buying our diesel because they didn't raid our shop. So that's kind of good as well. We got a bunch of high qual. It's really nice. Okay. Well, the rebuild. First steps first, need to get a god coin. Now, since our cloth was selling so much last night, I figure if I can clone this enough and grow some and actually sell it, I can probably get the gears I need to replace the doors on the space without having to go down and run military tunnels and train tunnels and all that other good stuff. So, just hoping I can kind of shortcut our way to a rebuild here. My basic plan to rebuild here was actually very simple. We saw last night how successful our shop could be if utilized correctly. So that's just what I wanted to do here, get our hemp up and running as quickly as possible and start selling it for any resource we would need to rebuild. And in the meantime, try and run military tunnels here and there to get some basic components again. It was also somewhat important we kept a low profile here until we were ready to defend our base again because there's a really good chance someone could try and raid us once again while we're weak. Yeah. One in, one's dead. One more dead, one more. Here. Good. Good. Did you get this guy's gun? Oh no, I got it. Yeah, let's I got go. Let's go. Just let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. We're back, baby! This is our first gun since getting raided. Nice little start, nice little start. I'm gonna go straight back to mill tons and see if I can take that as well. Some guys running mill tons. They're coming up. Nice little start, keeping our tier 3 here was actually huge because selling the high qual overnight, I can just make AK kit straight away. It'll help us snowball even further. It's actually great. Our first harvester hemp is ready, very nice. I'm going to trade this for gears and high qual hopefully. See how the trades go though. Lovely little haul. This is only from one floor of our hemp base, so we have three times this every harvest. That's pretty insane actually, holy shit. I had a jack on my bike because I can't be bothered going outpost. 
Holy shit, I was just checking for competitors, and these guys are actually selling god clones of the three berries we need for wood and ore teas for 25 high quality each. It means if I go with 75 high quality down an outpost, I can get all the god clones and start pumping out teas. This is insane. I'm going to do that right now. Uh Now, it didn't take us long at all here to get back up on our feet. We were selling cloth for the high quality to craft AK kits and really anything else we would need. And now we were growing berries on top of that to get our tea sales underway. I was even able to get up a couple of auto turrets again, securing our shooting floor. Things were going swell. But this is when we heard a raid going on right next to Sulphur Quarry, which was very interesting because like I said earlier, the Sulphur Quarry base had been raided. So there was a very good chance it was the people that had raided them that were over there right now. I wanted to know who it was, just out of curiosity. Good roof. He's down, not dead. Yeah, he's watching me. He's at the externals. That's fine. He's just watching. He's going inside. I hit him. Oh, I don't have any ammo. I've just got to push this dude. I've got the logo. Do you want to do it? I'm up. One dead. I'm metting one more is inside. I'm just gonna loot this guy's body and then I reckon we get out. Yeah. These, these guys are base owners, by the way. This wasn't the raid. Do we just want to run? Could you loot the rest yeah. of that? The AK's gonna be coming over. I don't have any ammo. I'm just gonna swim. I don't want to be caught by this AK. I'm gonna swim around back toward base. This AK guy's actually running straight back to this raid base here. I might be able to catch him in the water here. I don't know. I'm just going to wait a minute. Got him. Okay. Yeah, he's shooting me. Okay, so we got some pretty important questions here answered fairly easily. These blokes were coming out of the raid base right next to Sulphur Quarry's base, and lo and behold, it was the same blokes that had raided us. So that answered that question for us. These guys had raided both us and them out of the area. And while they saw me walk back into our base, they had just raided a few hours earlier with their AK kits, so you could probably guess this didn't really bode too well for our longevity here. But in my eyes, this meant one thing. We had to up our production of berries and cloth to sell and get even more high quality AK kits and really everything we would need to make our base more defendable. We were on a bit of a timer here. Got a couple of AKs now to actually defend ourselves. So that's good. Now let's go make some teas and start selling them. I think ore teas will probably sell the best. Okay, now we're literally buying everything that we need to make kits, doors, just everything we need to make our base more defendable. So let's just hope these things sell out before they actually come raid us. That's all I could really hope for, to be honest. We had a bucket load of teas here. That not only meant more sale opportunities for us, but also way more efficient noting. And well, I was making very good use of just that. The whole Sulphur Quarry Peninsula was full of everything we would need to make our base stronger and finally sheet metal it. That was until something very interesting happened. What do you mean? It's fine. We there's so many bases, there's so many groups on the server that Oh I'm dead! To AK. Where where where? Right at Sulphur no, Quarry, it's a Kurios guy. If you go he lives, I think, near um, that base. 
He just ran out. He lives at the site. He the sulfur tower he came out off with AK, I think. So he's on my mark right now, looting my body on my yellow mark. Now, if you remember correctly, this guy is actually with the T3 group who raided us. But what is he doing out here? Now, I thought it was very strange at this point because as I died, Casper was already on his way over here and he didn't see him loop back to his base or go into the raid base. This meant they most likely had a base out on the peninsula here unless he went for a bit of a swim. And Casper heard someone move in the tower right next to the sulfur quarry. Now, this could be very big for us here. Luckily enough, we had just enough sulfur to scrape together a small amount of boom. And we decided to take a bit of a gamble here. I see what you mean. I think we just sheet door bang it. Here, do you have a... Here, take this, Casper. Just rocket it. Go for it. Oh. I'm a door. Just do it. It's uh, only four rockets. Just, just f Yeah, go, just go, just go. I don't think. Oh, there he is. He just fell down. Jump out of the way. I've got ladder. It's all open up there. Dude, this is T3. Yeah. Right. Okay, it's right. TC. I've got TC. Right. Shoot that, shoot that. Let me down, let me down. Yeah, go. come down, come down, come down. Oh, you're going to have to boost me back up. Yeah, he's dead in here. Yeah, it's him. I got it, the AK kits. He killed. Okay, I'm just breaking bags. Any loot in there? Yeah, Throw AK down, kits right? and shit. AK kits and shit. Hold up. I've got, I've got everything. No, no, no. I've got, I've got the other side of the armor door. Oh my god, so much! But yeah, break the armor door, break the armor door. Break the armor door, quick. Get in, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. We All need it. There's so much more, so much more. I'm breaking TC. I'm breaking TC. Oh, TC's broken. We got to get a new one down. I'm making TC. Break that bag for me, Casper. I think we just grab inventories and run, no? Yeah, oh. I think I think you do that right now. I think you just grab the best inventory and I'll seal. Grab all the diesel, grab everything. Just go, just go, just go. You got to be quick. You got to be quick. They're going to be over here really quick. Like you've got to just book it. Yep, so you could say the gamble paid off here. This was their sulfur quarry base, and they were trying to run it with 60 plus diesel here. And that's probably why they raided sulfur quarry and us, so they could get access to this OP monument. And well, we just hit the robbery off the sentry here. Casper took all the good loot and swam straight back to our base with it, since they would be trying to cut us off from Arctic, no doubt. And to add insult to injury here, well, we were even able to kill them when they did just that. Maybe they raided it and did it. Are in front of us at the TC. Yeah. She's naked. Yeah, it's one of them. Let's try and get in quick. Could you get on roof, Casper? Uh, yeah, going. I'm gonna come out and or oh no. I think L's dead. The sun glare, man. I can't see anything. I mean, if you go oh. swim. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get in the water and swim. I made him wall towards me. I don't know where the guy is that killed L. Oh, he's on the roof. Coming out of base. He went twice, he's low. He like magically has a wall to where I would be peeking him from. Oh, the guy at the TC is dead. Him? Kill, two... Killed him? Push that wall, push that wall, push that wall. Killed wall. He walled me at that wall. I'm going left on him. Yep. Yeah. How far? Killed his naked friend. He's dead. Nice, nice. Okay. Um, I'm gonna loot. Are you loot the bodies in the wall? Oh, uh, one, okay. one more naked going for elves. Stand there. I'm gonna run back. Casper can grab that body. You can probably grab a lot of elves' body as well. Actually, no, you won't. The funniest part here actually, HQM Quarry, he was in that base, so he's with T3 that raided us, they're just saying in chat, Z8 Sulfur for Diesel, and now I'm talking shit, saying so thanks for the Diesel, you can buy it back from us, that's crazy, that's crazy, also it might mean they aren't going to give up on Sulfur Quarry that easily, they might give it another whirl. <laughs> Don't you worry guys, I'm a nice guy here, I let them know they could buy their Diesel right back from us any time they liked. Yeah, I actually lied. I traded that shit in for a crap load of HQM because God knows something was coming our way if we liked it or not. Oh my God, all that diesel just gave us three lines of high qual. 
That's insane. Just imagine for a second being these guys. You raid some group and within six hours they're raiding your quarry base for boxes of loot and they're talking that smack and chat. God, you would be pissed. But don't you worry, it gets so much worse. We figured they tried to raid everyone in this area for a reason, and so they could take full control of the Noting Mountain and the Sulphur Quarry. Now, this was clearly their objective here, and we figured they felt pretty safe here. So when we heard a raid in the distance, which could only be them, we wanted to change that feeling around a bit. Hold on, camper van on me. I think it might be the boys with the camper Ooh, van. Where, where, where? It's parked up right here, right in front of me near this little small base, camper van in the open. There's like a naked crouching behind it, it is, looking it at is. it as well. Oh, I don't know yeah. where the boys that own it. Maybe this is Bad a farm base. Of... Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, they could, be, they could be raiding a farm base or doing something or... I think we run, uh, Casper, maybe do we run straight to the camper and shoot it out? This base to my right could be... Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a dead body on the base to my right. Somebody watch the door. It's a garage door. This doors. could be their farm base. Yeah, it's a garage door. So they were garage doors be closed on top. And... Yeah, in, in the camper. Did you get him? Nice. Shoot okay. the last yeah. out, yeah. First. Shoot, shoot, oh, oh, rockets, shoot. rockets, rockets! How many? I got nine rockets. Shoot nice. the... Shoot that lock off, I reckon, and we just take it. I'm in. I'm dead. Oh, nice. I'm oh good. my god, I'm low. He's dead, he's dead, he's dead. I'm clearing oh, beds. Nice. There's a few, there's a few, there's a few. Garage okay. door's open. Can you give a bed to him? Casper, and the thing? I cleared all the beds. Right? I'm out. I'm right. I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah, hold up. I'm gonna give. I'm just driving it a little bit. I got more rockets in here. One's outside, but I can't see him. We all have beds. They're like chopping beds in there still. Give the boom more to Casper. We can raid in. Give the boom to Casper. Casper's got it. Casper, come, come, come. We can get in right yeah, now. Yeah, I'm it's re it's low. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. sorry. Hold up. Okay, just rock well, it right here. Die. Rock it right here. It's a low right there. The sheet. Then reload. Don't peek. Don't peek. Just reload. Just don't even peek. Just rock it in there. Just just jump over and rock it. Just jump over and rock it, I reckon. Oh, you're getting fucked. There's no one in shot. there. That no. one's low. He's low. He's low. You're up. He's, oh, you should be down, you should be down. You're up, Casper. Just jump down the backside, Casper, and heal. Yeah, yeah, I got it all, got it all, got it all. Okay, okay. Jeez. This guy up. He's gonna run for the camper. He's gonna run for the camper. This guy's gonna run for the camper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know this one. Right. Right. There is the so right next much to shit in here, by the way. I'm getting a door. Oh my god. This thing is like, in, this is like a cheetah oh, base or dude, something. Dude, we gotta, we gotta go. We gotta go, we gotta go, go. They're all going to come back. Uh, on the the wood Doors down. Behind our camper van? Yeah, no, no, listen, listen. What we need to do, everyone needs to get in there, get a bot, get an inventory loot. I'm going to loot. Gaz is going to loot, and we just got to leave because they live right here. They're going to come back, and they're going to just, like, this shit is, There's oh, my God. There's bags in here. Military bags for everyone. If you yeah, yeah, let me, it's like you and I loot up. I you and I loot up. You and I loot up, and then. And then come out. I'm yeah. guy pushing up from outside. Can somebody hold that? Dude, there's so many. They're gonna come back so deep, guys. Can someone we go need... out and hold? Casper, I'm gonna get in the camper. I'm gonna yeah, get in yeah, the camper. I'm getting full inventory. I'm coming in. I'm telling you right now, as soon as Jumping you're full, in. get in this camper. We need to go right now. I don't know why they didn't come back instantly, but whatever. We have I to go like... back there. There's so much shit in there. Yeah, 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 we have to. I know, I know, but we got. I, I oh, assume we got all shit. the sulfur, yeah. Assume we got most of the good shit. Yep. This was really our final kick against this group for day two. We had rebuilt, counted their raid, and raided their sulfur quarry base, and talked a whole bunch of shit to them in chat. Not only that, but our shop was selling out like hotcakes. We were making so much profit just from our shop. We had officially made our prices so cheap that no one could compete, and we were selling the product for virtually nothing. I was nearly certain here that they were going to make a move against us a similar time as they did last night. These shops are making us so much profit. Holy crap. I'm gonna head to bed here, but damn, overnight they're gonna be full of loot. That's so good. I was wrong here. These guys didn't even come and try and raid us here. We were just selling produce all night undisturbed, which meant we had more loot than we knew what to do with. So I figured here, well, we could step up the tactics a little bit and try cut off their hemp supply. They were selling their hemp for diesel, the same diesel we stole from them a day earlier at the soft quarry. 
This is very interesting that they were still buying it, but nevertheless, we figured if we could cut off their water supply that they had at an undefended base on the coast, we could essentially cut off their hemp supply, thus making them have to purchase it from us in the future and stopping their diesel buys. And I got such as, yeah. I'll, I, do you guys want to sit up the hill and wait for him to come over? And you could, like, kill him, you know what I mean? Like, you could both just sit, like, with silences yeah. somewhere. Farm some kits up him. He's bolted group camping already. Oh, there's boxes in here actually. Let's see. Oh yeah, two two. Oh, and it said juiced. I'm gonna just satchel charge these things. Is it, can you see TC in there? Or is it locked like separately? Yeah, it's behind a sheet wall. Base. Just needed him to start getting mad at his team, being like, Dude, get on, man! I'm getting camped! See how quick they log in. Okay, I've broken everything in here, I'm coming out. I'm good to go when you guys are. We can't, which way do we I go? Up? To, I think he's so, trying to come out. Okay. There's no more shit pumping into their into the hemp base now. I down one here. I down him here. That guy is his name. He's on a load. Yeah, he's guy. <sighs> yeah, the hemp, hemp base, base doesn't work. That's definitely like one of the most annoying things someone can do to you. Just like disable your hemp base, because that like all that like wiring up shit takes so long in there to do. They have to like rewire everything now, right? Yeah, I like broke their purifiers, their pumps, their water barrels, their battery, like everything. And then nothing in there. So we had managed to stop their hemp supply here, but it was fairly interesting. Only one of them were on, and this usually happens when a group's morale is low and people can't be bothered logging into play because of some things that have happened during the wipe. Very interesting. But nevertheless, we didn't let this stop us from taking the heli and just selling bulk produce throughout the early morning hours, while T3 seemed fairly inactive. We were wondering at this point if we had made them quit the server for good through our shenanigans, which I doubted here and would soon be proved wrong. Damn, our tier 2 guns are selling well. Someone just bought out nearly every single T. And a bunch of cloth. Oh my god. Now, as I said before here, it was funny that these guys were still buying diesel with their shop. That signaled one thing to me, they hadn't quite given up on the sulfur quarry just yet. So I figured they would give building a base there another whirl. And just as expected, I saw a snowmobile head over there with AK kits. I knew exactly who it was and what they wanted. Gaz and I went over with one goal to try and stop them. Gaz, 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 Gaz! Yes. Come, uh, run, run AK kit to bottom right X7. There's two guys full AK kit at Sulphur Quarry right now with backpacks. Uh. Yeah, I see one up at Sulphur Quarry. You see him? Uh, On the left no. side of it, jumping around. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. You just ran it in. They're building a base. They're building a base. I think it was. They actually. look. Uh... They look like Noah's, I'm not gonna lie, like jiggling yep. around and looking our way up. One's seen me. Well, I've got a bit of cover here. I don't. I didn't actually bring many meds. I should have brought more. Doubled one, he's close. Nice. Getting up on him, trying to get this guy's AK so it can't be picked up on us. Do you want to go left or right maybe? Which one do you want to go? Yeah, I'm going to go right on this large bernie here. He was bandaging. Oh, they're building a base over there. He's going to be a bit of a Hail Mary run. Hold up, let me see what this guy has on him. 
Oh, it's our boys. Hit him twice. He hit me a few times. Ow, I'm being suppressed by something. I got hit once. It's like slow shooting, but I'm getting hit. I don't know where Probably from. Probably behind. Yep, it behind. Is. So I'm not in cover, I know that. Oh, this other guy's built to shooting for now. No, on the right. Double headshot him, he's not dead. He's double headshot though. Pushing. I'm hit by the suppressor. I can maul now though. I'm mauling up. I don't even know this guy is, if he still these walls or not. Yeah, one guy in this base right here. I'm gonna try and kill him. Dude, he's in the fob, I think. He's in the fob, I would assume. They're fob. He's in the colored fob. The colored fob with the turret still on it. I just saw someone move, I'm pretty sure. Oh, he died, he died, he died. Nice, good shit. Okay, well... That's, that's got... all dead. Old Greg. They got a little fob set up here. How do you lose? Dude, I swear we get take these kits, go back. He's unsuppressed bolt now. I've got to hide and just bandage. More air case? No, nah, that's in the fob. I think we run. In the fob, yeah. I think we swim. I don't know how to run, though. Just, I think we just swim. We go all the way back here. We swim across with these spare kits. I don't have any meds. We were not able to stop them from building their sulfur quarry tower here, but we had another sneaky plan. They were obviously using their snowmobile to transfer loot. So I figured when I saw it heading back to their base, they would eventually be back. So Gaz and I decided to set up a little bit of an ambush on their way back to the quarry, hoping to get a few goodies. Oh, Gaz, do you want to come out here? Um, I just saw him go back with like that scooter, right? Like this, the snow machine. I just saw him ride over X7 toward his base. So he's using the snow machine to go back and forth. Do we just wait here for him to go back and kill him? Maybe even come to me. This is probably a better spot. I know it's closer to their base, but it'll be easier to see them to jump them. Ah, oh, there's some grubs in Arctic. No way. Do you, do you want to come up here and watch this? I'm going to F1 kill. I've got a bag right here. I'm going to F1 kill. Are yeah, you right to watch? All right. I'm going to F1 kill and I'm just going to do it right here. And I'm just going to check if the quarry's going. Yeah, I did, but dude, we got so many T's. Got like unlimited T's. I really can't be. I don't, I don't really care too much. Okay, yeah, they're not even there. They're not even there. There's a Tommy guy there named. Yeah, one, they're Tommy. They've got a Tommy guy there that's in a wolf headdress just like looting oh, the dickhead. They're out. Shit. They're coming, but I think they're going the way I said they might be going. Maybe just run around? No, maybe not. No, no, he was just going to the other gate because his mate went out the other gate for some reason. I don't know which way you're going to go. It's a bit, a bit thing out. I got my Tommy. One's like Arctic, I think, and one's full kit. They're kind of going through. Hey, hold up. Ready? Headshot, double hit. Dead, one dead. I can't see that guy. I think it might have stopped. Yeah, he did. I'm down. That guy's dead. He's getting hard jumped by Tommy's. He's getting hard jumped by Tommy's right now. Naked Tommy's are pushing him. What do you have? A lot of shit. Nothing crazy, but like, they were setting up a base. I got like, so many prep. Killed him. Nice. He was out of their base. Dead, dead. No, some point, I'm right on you. I'm right on you. See me? Yeah, I'm coming. Where's the we'll kid? In the bushes in between us. Deep, yeah. dense bushes right here. Dead. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I got and it. I got back it. towards Arctic, he's dead. Oh, this guy's so, so much shit as well. I reckon we both just leave. Where's the it's snow it, right behind me. Right behind me. You got it. It's on the road there. You see it? Yeah. I'm going to drive. Just get on. Yeah! <laughs> Good shit, good shit, good shit. Tommy's. Now, you probably think this is pretty demoralizing here, taking all this loot from them, stopping them from running the Sulphur Quarry once again. Yeah, you know Gaz and I went straight back and did it again. <laughs> There's no way this dude just lets us do this to him again, right? Oh, he's right on me. Yeah, he's back. Dead? He's dead. No way. 
There's no way. I refuse to believe it. You could say our wipe here was a success. We had undercut literally every single shop on the server, producing so much cloth that no one could keep up, and even taking out our rivals' ability to produce more cloth themselves or even use the diesel they were accumulating. But there was one thing left to do. You guys know me. I don't like revenge half done. I wanted to raid T3. They had online raided us, and I wanted to return that favor. Versing these guys was actually really fun. But sadly, when we went over to raid them, they were already on their roof with HV rockets instantly, making the raid just not possible for our numbers. And soon after this, they actually quit the server, meaning we could never completely get our revenge on them. But we were in a bit of a cocoon here. We were so tunnel visioned on a single enemy when we had essentially made an enemy of every single shop owner on the bloody server. Yeah, people wanted our loot. Oh, I need to get to the switches and turn them all on. It's a minute. Oh, they're blowing up. They're blowing something up. You know what? I'm just spawning crows. I'm going to kill these guys from there. Crows nest. Let's go. Oh, never mind. They're broken crows nest. Little rascals are broken crows nest, man. Makes it a little bit harder for us. Oh my god. Oh, the rocketing's down. Oh my god. Okay, they. Oh, they haven't busted. They haven't blown in. You're good. Okay, here. Oh, okay, I just took it. They're through that armored door. They're right above us. Oh my god. They're right oh above my us. God. Oh my god. They've got. Ah! Oh, no. they're, they're right above. They're right above. <laughs> One full dead. Good one. I'm here, I'm here. Go, go. I think, I think they're think above. Wait. Oh, yeah. He's not up okay. there. Yeah, he is, he oh, is. He's on the roof, on the roof. On the roof, on the roof. Like, under the crow's nest. Yeah, no. Wait, can't we just spawn in tower and just, like, shoot them on the roof? No, no, we don't have crows anymore. You don't have what? Got him. No. The crows, they broke the crows. That's the first thing they broke. No, the They're all dead. Tower up the hill. Oh, yeah, true. You could have. Oh, we got all the rockets. They actually came with like. A... Dude. No, Is that you, AK, up there? There's a shot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's me at the tower. It's Dude, the they just came with so many rockets. You know what? I bloody call this wipe a win. We probably ended up supplying the server over 500k cloth, made our enemies' lives a living hell, and defended our base from countless offline attempts. It was a bloody good time in my eyes. See you boys next time.